Hey guys, Pavlos Pav here, and I'm just here going to put together a few ideas of different races that you can do as a family. So, here we go. Okay, so, for the first race, this race can be done in teams. It could be the children against the parents, it could be the boys against the girls, it could be just one person against one person, whatever you like. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a knots and crosses grid. So we're using four judo belts. If you don't have four judo belts, you can only have one or two. Use other belts, other ties to complete the grid. At this end, when teams will start, I'm using, I'm just using uh, cut up belt stubs. I've got white against yellow. Again, if you don't have these things, you could just use socks. Okay, but make sure that you know which socks belong to each team. So maybe one team will have colored socks and one team will have white socks or black socks. So, first person will pick up a sock or a stub, run down, and they've got to put it somewhere in the grid. Now, both teams are running at the same time. And of course, with knots and crosses, it is the first team to get three in a row. So it can be going up and down, diagonal, across the way. So it could just be a straightforward run to see who gets connect three first, or obviously you play strategic and you try and block. Now, if it comes to the grid is filled up and you cannot fill up, you've got two choices. You can either just call it a draw and start again, or what you can do is keep the game going. If someone runs up, you pick up one of yours and one of theirs, and you swap, and then you run back down. It's another way of doing it, guys, okay? This game can also be substituted for other games. So instead of the knots and crosses, if you have an actual Connect four game, just put that down, and obviously then run up, put a disc in, run back down, and then see which team of course gets connect four first. So there's an idea right there, guys, okay? So for these next races, I'm taking it from old school races, okay? So what we've got at one end, we've got a judo belt, and I've also got a belt stub for each team. Again, if you don't have belt stubs, socks work great, okay? So, the first race, you use regular judo belt, okay? This is pretending it is a sack race, that you're in the sack, okay? So, I stand in the center of the belt, put my feet together, I pull the belt to the side of me, okay? And I've got to jump! Round a marker, back down. If I'm in teams, I pass this over. If I'm in just a team of one other person, maybe I'll go a couple times. Or if it's just one partner against another, maybe I've got to do it three, four times. Okay? So that's the sack race. Next one, still using this, I'm just skipping. Okay? So I've got through it, over my head. Skipping around the marker, back down, passing the over, or keep on going. Okay, next one. Obviously, think of it like beanbag on head. So you've got to run down and run back up. If it drops, you've got to stop, pick it up, put it on before you can continue on. And then just keep on going until it's all done, okay? So, for this next race, what each team is going to need are some books, okay? Now, I'm taking this inspiration from the game The Floor is Lava. And right now, I'm standing in the lava. Ouch. So, each team starts on one side. They've got to get from one side to the other using the books. Okay, so each team 
We'll have our own set of books. Take the first book, place it down. Easy peasy. Second book, step on the first book. Now, you then have got to come back. You're not allowed to take all the books with you at the same time. You've got to come back, only take one book at a time, okay? So as you get further along, you've got to make sure you don't fall in the lava. If you fall in, there's a penalty. You're not allowed to move for, let's say, three seconds. Those could be precious seconds, giving your other, the other team a chance to get into the lead. Okay, so you've got balance, keep coming back. Get the next group, step, step, step. Put it down, and depending on how much space you've got, you might only need four books. If you've got a bigger space, you might need 10 books, okay? And it's the first team, you can get to the other side, get to the point, okay? So, for this next race, what each team is gonna need is a box or a judo belt that's put into a hoop or something else. It could be a pot, a pan, or if you've got a hula hoop, use that, okay? That goes with one end. At the other end, each team again is going to be using belt stubs or socks, whatever you've got, okay? So, what you've got to do is get the belt stub or the sock, whatever you're using, into the box or the hoop. Now, of course, you can do this a couple of different ways. One, you could just throw it, missed by miles, and maybe you can see which team has got the best accuracy, throwing them into the box or the hoop. That could be one game. Or, second game is you take it and you put it between your knees, okay? Now you're not jumping, you are still running. So you've still got to run with the belt stub or the sock, whatever you're using, between your knees. And then what you've got to do is then drop it in, and then run back, okay? So, you can do this for as long as you want, depending on how many belt stubs or socks you have, okay? If it's just one partner against the other, they're just running back, grabbing the next one between the knees, running back and forth until they're all done. Or of course, if it is in teams, run back, second person goes, third person, depending on how many is your team, until all your belt stubs or your socks, whatever you're using, in the box or the loop, okay?